we've spoken quite a bit about the iron frame and the soundboard <coughs> and strings and pins uh, of the piano. That's the basic harp. And you can, just for fun, with the action out of a piano, just pluck the strings. And my great uncle, Jack Sargent, uh, apparently could play the piano quite beautifully as a harp. He was uh, quite a musician indeed, and, and quite a figure around early Melbourne with musical instrument repair. But I never met him, met him sadly. Uh, but uh, once the action's removed, here it is here. This is a Richard Lip action. And I'm just making the first few steps towards dissembling it and rebuilding it. the new set of hammers. <clears throat> Very important to maintain what we call the striking point, which is the exact spot on the string where the hammer, the crown of the hammer, has to make an impact. And certain measurement, measurements and markings allow us to do that. So, quite a job, but um, <clears throat> once it's done, that's a beautiful set of hammers for a piano. And then we have kid leathers leather surfaces that work together in an instrument. They have to be scarfed off, <coughs> new leathers cut and placed in, quite simple. And you'll often hear the bridal tapes or return tapes mentioned in pianos. The originals were Irish linen, little braid of Irish linen with a little leather cap. And even though they're still here, they will perish and crumble in time. They're not far off that now. But um, so we cut and replace uh, new bridal tapes. The new tapes are a, um, a nylon material with, with a vulcanised cap on it. And I think we can safely say they'll last even longer than the originals. Then of course there's all the bearings in the action have to be serviced, replaced if need be. And a number of little graphite points where parts um, move across another part so we have to make them as friction free as possible and we use a graphite paint and then polish up those points of contact so all in all there can be nearly a week's work going into the action of a piano <clears throat> but they are true works of genius um, and this design even though it's a piano from the turn of the century is still what we call the modern piano action in that the dampers operate under the hammers and that was a great improvement from Hugo Wertheim who's often referred to as the father of the modern piano. <clears throat> so once this is done it'll be fitted back into its piano, into its instrument, regulated and uh, hammers voiced to get a nice even tone across the range and that's an action then that will operate quite happily for two to three generations. But have your piano tuned every year because the tuner uh, not only addresses the tuning of the instrument and the balance of the tension on the frame, most important to maintain that, it being about 20 tonnes as we were saying earlier, but also a good piano tuner runs a careful eye over the instrument while you're tuning because uh, when you're tuning you're playing and repeating each note 
oh, perhaps a dozen or more times, <clears throat> don't even bother to count. And so you're getting a feel as to how every single note is behaving in the instrument. So a yearly tuning and a, a careful eye run across the action to keep that ticking over beautifully is just so important. But it's lovely work, it requires a lot of patience and experience, but uh, we love it.